Carl and Ann, you two strike me as a couple of true believers who are no more willing to question the theory that you base your beliefs on than were the um, uh, ministers of the 19th uh, century whom you so roundly criticized as being closed-minded. I'd like to raise a couple of questions and see how you respond. Uh, sure, fire away. Regarding this theory, number one, how do you explain the uh, switch from asexual reproduction to sexual reproduction? Well, first off, let me say that that in no way challenges the validity of biological evolution, whether we're able or unable to uh, explain the fact that, uh, that uh, many species, by no means all, uh, reproduce sexually today. The, the Darwinian concept of uh, evolution and natural selection is profoundly verified, not just by the fossil record. Well, we're not, in the fossils excuse in me, transition. Excuse now. me, excuse me. Not just by, by uh, the clear experience of artificial selection, but by the record in the nucleic acids, which is obtained by DNA sequencing in which we can see the similarities and differences of organisms and trace their evolutionary past, their, in other words, you've got their this history. theory with a gaping hole in it. There's no it gaping. Does, and it doesn't cause you to question the theory. There's no gaping holes. We have, we have, you're talking about the absence of intermediate forms in the fossil record. That was the, one, fo the one fossil, the fo problem. The, the fossil, well, let's talk about each thing that you have, you have problems with there if there's reasons. time. Well, just a minute. You know, you 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 raise one, and then when I'm about to answer it, you rush off to the next. Let's uh, let's do them one at a time. Uh, the the fossil record is necessarily incomplete because of the processes of erosion, but particularly, it seems to me, and all the fossils in transition got picked off. Sir, nobody said to, all the fossils. You're going to lots have, of intermediate forms. You're going to have to put aside your creationist primer for a moment and either listen I, to I the answers that you raised. Well, sir, I will thank you for the call, but I think it would be unproductive to continue um, because uh, our caller, I fear, is too ready to do battle rather than to listen. He, well, rather, he rather reminds me of Pontius Pilate. He asks what is truth, but does not stay for the answer. Let, let, let me uh, uh, at least respond to one of, uh, of the caller's uh, uh, concerns. Uh, consider artificial selection. I mean, there is something intrinsically implausible about evolution, uh, particularly if you think that the world is only a few thousand years old, as, as the biblical chronology would have it. Uh, then the idea of one species flowing into another is absurd. We never see that in our everyday life, we are told. But consider artificial selection. Consider, for example, the variety of dogs on the planet. We have dogs ranging mm -hmm. from chihuahuas to great danes we have dogs specialized for herding sheep for going into holes for uh, catching uh, birds that are shot down uh, for taking care of the babies for guarding the house tremendous variety of dogs on the planet and in fact they are man-made dogs in exactly. a way exactly where did they come from we humans made them by controlling which dog shall mate with which we like the characteristics of Rover. We like the characteristics of Spot. We now introduce Rover and Spot to each other so that we can have the products of, uh, of, their, of their progeny. Other dogs with characteristics we don't like, who are um, unpleasant to us, we do not encourage their reproduction of. And in the short period of eight or 10,000 years, we produce this immense variety of dogs. Now, compare that with four billion years of biological evolution, not artificial selection, but natural selection, which goes into not just the, the overall characteristics and personalities of the dogs, but into the biochemistry, into the internal organs, selecting what works a little bit better, just the faintest bit, in the competition of organisms. And then it is clear that the beauty and diversity of life on Earth can emerge. But if you don't buy four billion years, you don't buy evolution. 